All right, welcome back to the 105. So we are talking about the earthquakes 101 by Mr. Spartan's class. So we are going to be reading this today. So, all right. So I probably will be around since, but, but until do like 11.59. So I probably will be doing those videos. Oh, it's nine o'clock already. Oh, I did not realize that. So I probably, I probably, I probably will be off around 12 o'clock. So... I know that I sometimes go around 12 sometimes, but sometimes, but mostly, most often, I just go by 10 because of school days and stuff. But mostly, I just, I just normally, uh, I just m normally stay up until 12, but sometimes I stay up w way later, so. How many major te tectonic plates made up, make up the Earth's crust? Seven major. <laughs> Excuse me, where do the earthquakes tend to happen? It comes from edges to the plate edges around the faults. When did this, when is the uh, destruction more violent? They damage more frequent, frequently when earthquakes begin to collapse. Where is the most violent earthquake likely to occur? The rim of the seismic belt when it usually occurs? What well, may be created if this occurs under the ocean? It features a result to the edges. On average, how many people or who many people are killed by earthquakes, or how many? How many are we killed by each year? Six, 60,000. How many detectable earthquakes are estimated to occur each year? 500,000. How many earthquakes are strong enough to be felt every year? 100,000. How many earthquakes cause damage each year? 100. What scale is used to measure earthquake magnitudes? Largest wiggle. How often do scientists uh, predict earthquakes of eight or higher will occur? They do it for a scientific process whenever they have a wildest difference. So that's what earthquakes are recommended or, or they are determined all about. So, um, yeah, I'm still working on my assignments right now. So, I will be looking at whatever I need to do. I cannot remember what I've done. So I'll be doing the, um, all right, what should I do next? Hmm. I will be doing the exploration questions by chemical and physical weathering. So on a separate sheet of paper, uh, answer all the questions, write short answers. You can draw diagrams, you can list your tables. Uh, it can be the best way possible for yourself, so here's number one. What is weathering? The process of being worn by long exposure to the atmosphere. Two, what is physical weathering? Physical weathering is caused by the effects of changing temperature on rocks. Three, what is the main agent of physical weathering? Wind, water, and gravity. Four, how does freeze thaw operate? It occurs when it expands the water on other reactions. Five, what is abrasion? Abrasion is the physical process of scouring whereby particles of rock. Six, what are the main agents of abrasion? Breaking down rocks and other agency. Seven, what is chemical weathering? It is a breaking down of rocks. Eight, what is the main agent of chemical weathering? Water. Nine, how does acid rain develop? It is caused by a chemical reaction. 10. How does acid rain affect rock? Which rock type is the most susceptible? Why? It affects the rock because the water gets in the acid and changes the temperature length. 11. What is differentiated weathering? Why does it occur? Because of variations in composition and resistance of the weathering can precede something. Okay, so I get confused of which one I need to do. So okay, so tomorrow is my birthday. So I have all these. Uh, I have some. I have free tabs that how much money could I afford? I can afford, or how much I can afford. So I can basically see what I've done. Still, I still I'm still finished with the the assignments. But uh, the only problem is I cannot finish my math. The only the only thing I'm stuck on is probably two, five, six, and seven, nine, and ten. If somebody else can help me around Mr. Gamlings, I have Mr. Gamling, so can you guys please help me? I cannot do this problem anymore. I'm sick and tired of doing this every day, so 
I wish Mr. Gambling posted a video about this so I can know what to do. I know it's like due today in the past week, but I'm not sure if it was or not. But I have to check it out later on because I, because I usually forget, I usually forget things of what I need to do. I keep, because I'm not used to this. I mean, I I said I don't know how to do this problem. I actually wrote that. So, excuse me. Um, all right, I'm still working on these four assignments. I'm still working on the notes for Nixon, for President Nixon. All right. So what do I need to do? Hmm. Prohibition. Let this is from U.S. history. So what do you already know? The Eighteenth Amendment ban of the sale and production for alcohol. It was approved in 1919, and it took effect in January of 1920. Part one. In a space below, please tell me what you have already know about prohibition. List as much as you can. Please don't leave it, but please don't leave it as a blank. I knew much about alcohol and somewhat provided to 1919 is illegal situations. What was prohibition? As you may recall, the temperance mood began in America in the middle of 18s. Members of this movement urged people to stop drinking alcohol. They pressured the U.S. government to make drinking alcohol legal. This movement led to an amendment that sell, selling and drinking alcohol legally. This ban was called prohibition. To prohibit means to stop people from doing something. Sorry, you can so that so you can read the rest of this. Part two: Choose one of these two videos to watch and fill out the video sheet. Click on those two videos. Video number one. Video number two. Be sure to type the title of the video at the top of the notes sheet. CBS News Sunday morning: The rise and fall of prohibition. B. Scroll down to video title one, two. Part three: Choose one of these two videos to watch and fill out the video sheet. A. Video number one. Video number two. Be sure to type in the title of the video at the top of the notes sheet that you didn't know. Prohibition history. B. Wow. Scroll down to video title two. Three, part four. Everyone must do the reading and notes. A, go to discovery and click on the assignment called Temperance and Prohibition and use page nine only. Click here for access to the textbook. B, scroll down to Temperance and Prohibition notes. How do I turn this stuff in? Below are directions and links for how to turn in the various portions of this assignment. Submit the hyperdoc on its learning. Video title one. Capital A. Write two adjectives that. Okay, so every time I every time I believe that video, um, the woman is like talking over me. I can hear background noises, so I I apologize if you hear something in the background. It's just the audio that is coming from my computer, so I apologize for that. So please don't get mad at me for talking over you guys or something like that. So let's just yeah, let's just be kind here. I don't want to get. I don't want to be like. Oh, I don't want people to be like, oh, your videos, your videos on quality or your videos is all including the background. I can hear the background. What is that? It's just a voice that is coming from the audio that is the woman's talking right now. So, so please do not mind that. Okay. Come to mind while you're watching. Example, mysterious. One, it came about the frequent excuses. Two, it has become a small town on that part. Capitally, emotion, how did the article make you feel? Two emotions. One, surprised. New challenge two, for me. Composed, capital I, interesting. Write down two facts you found interesting. That One, summit. small towns that are express on days they have. Two, supporting any family who are in a different race. Capital O, O, wow. Write down two things that made you go wow. One. King alcohol. Two. Smoking. Capital U. Up. What two questions do you have after watching the video? Uh. One. When did whiskey appear? Two. Why do immigrants make so many barrel flips? Video title two. Capital A. Write two adjectives that come to mind while you're watching. Example. Mysterious. One. Clear discomfort. Two. Other entertainment choices. Capital E. Emotion. How did the article make you feel? Two emotions. 
one. Hopeful, two. Wonder, capital I. Interesting, write down two facts you found interesting. One. Banning alcohol less prime. Two. Banning illegal facts. Capital O. O. Wow. Write down two things that made you go wow. One. When people still drink. Two. When crime rates went up. Capital U. Up. What two questions do you have after watching the video? One. Why do some people still drink when it is illegal? Two. Why does alcohol cause more reaction? Temperance and prohibition. How did prohibition affect the nation? Directions. Go to discovery. Look for assignment temperance and prohibition. Using only PG9, fill out the notes page below. 1. What did the temperance movement urge people to stop doing? They encouraged a mass time significant temper. 2. What did the temperance movement push the government to do? They became more political about advising for prohibition on drugs. 3A. What did the 18th Amendment do? They prohibited the manufacturer to prevent this. 3B. When did the amendment take effect? Not ratified, the 27th. 4. What did the Volstead Act do? Two things. They introduced the House of Implement for prohibitions. They define any process to use alcohol as the problem temper. 5. Which alcohols were not banned? Why? Two kinds. Sri Lanka and India because they have the cell for alcohol in each bar they got of appearance whenever they get drunk or not. 6. What was the aim of prohibition? It is reduced of crime and corruption in houses in America. 7. List the ways reformers used prohibition. 4 ways. Be detailed. A. Trains. B. Trucks. C. Beverage, D. Strength barrels. Oh, I forgot to tell you. I have a dentist appointment at my last dentist. My last uh, dentist appointment is at uh, May seventeenth. So, so it will be a yesterday for my birthday. So, um, so uh. Okay, so I will be having um, um one of my ever crowns to have my have a number of teeth in. So yeah, this is my last visit here. So at least I don't get to see him often. So, so I also have another appointment too. I have to get my COVID shot. I know you guys don't want to get your COVID shot, but I know you guys um are are like um getting scared of the COVID shot. I know it's going to hurt very badly, but trust me, I I will be able to handle myself as a as a good citizen. I've been scared with so many things, but now I with shots, um but now I can um, it hurt it so bad, but now I can deal with it now. So now we're getting older, so you'll be able to get you'll be able to get it like I did someday. So my advice is Try your hard not to cry. I know it's gonna hurt, but we just are like ages twelve for older people or something like that. Ages twelve for for older people. I'm also doing something else right now because I'm flossing my teeth. That's what I'm doing right now to get the teeth out of my mouth. That's what I normally do. Okay, so. Um, for that, I'll have a second dose around two weeks or so. I'm not sure when it's gonna. I don't know. I don't know when. When's the date? But on, so on. Wait, wait. Is it Tuesday? Oh, actually, Monday I'm getting the dentist appointment, and Tuesday I'll be getting the COVID shot. So sorry about that, my mistake, guys. I'm trying to get things organized and remembered. But I really thought my dentist appointment was on Tuesday because I really thought May seventeenth was on Tuesday. I'm not. I'm not really used to that calendar very much. I just don't know why. I mean, I really thought it was Tuesday, but I realized it was Monday because May seventeenth is Monday, which is a B day at my school. So, so yeah, I gotta be. I gotta be. I gotta be completely honest with you. Is that I may not remember dates. I know some of you guys do not remember dates. That's okay too. 
I was like, what's, what's today's date? When am I getting my COVID vaccine shot? Like, I don't even know why I'm getting it. So yeah, I probably won't be around too much. Um, I'll probably do some other assignments too, if I have time. I will. Um, so for May 18th and May 19th is uh, senior projects. Only seniors can stay in school, but juniors and 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 freshmen can just they have they are required to leave early. They are headed to leave early because um, due to senior projects. So we have to leave early due to senior projects. So it's going to be around uh, noon, or around like twelve ten or twelve twenty. Um, we'll have to look it up someday. So, so yeah, just remember, just remind you guys. Eight. What was the major problem with prohibition? Don't say because people didn't like it. They were in a huge fight when the creator of black market came to the rate. Nine. Where was illegal liquor sold? They were sold in Canada and Mexico. Ten a. What is a bootlegger? A person who makes, distributes, and sells illegally. B. Who did bootlegging attract? Why? Al Capone was involved because of the attractives that caused distraction. 11. St. Valentine's Day Massacre. Who was involved? Bugs Moran's Northside Gang. Where was it? Lincoln Park, Chicago, IL. When was it? February 14, 1929. What happened? There was a massacre in the Valentine's group that are killed. Why was no one arrested? See the top of the paragraph about the policy. Because the police didn't believe or notice in that situation. 12a. Which amendment ended prohibition? 21st amendment. B. When was the 18th amendment repealed ended? <laughs> January 16, 1919. 13. Did prohibition work? Why or why not? Yes, because I need to know more about the definition of prohibition and cultural beginning. Oh, is that it? Yeah, I think it's it. Why is it not letting me? Why is it not letting me go back? I'm so confused. Oh, there we go. There we go. Cause something's wrong with the with the. Whenever I saw the slide six. Um, page six. I didn't see anything, so it's left. So it's left blank. So, so yeah, I had to fix that because I didn't realize I had a page six on this assignment. Okay, I don't know how long of a recording. I am just gonna go ahead and do. Do probably another Earth Space. Uh, I guess I'm gonna do um, probably about anatomy of an earthquake. I used to copy things for the internet. I used to copy patient questions and put in and put, copy answers from this sheet. So in this page, so. I re I honestly regret I I I honestly re regret doing this. I know it's been December twenty first. Uh, this thing is blocking my way. I cannot proceed to shut down because the thing's in the way. All right. In this model, how deep down does the fault descend? These plates meet at plate boundaries and are in constant motion. Two. What is preventing the sides of the rock from sliding past each other? The place literally occurs whenever it is called an earthquake. 3. What is the sudden rupture of the fall release? It is currently cleaning the crust or mantle. 4. What is the magnitude 6.5 earthquake equal to? 30,000. 5. What do the P waves, or pressure waves, do to the rock? They are fast, traveling through rock at over 225 miles per hour. 6. What is the name of the waves that vibrate the rock side to side, perpendicular to the motion of travel? Shear waves and oscillates. 7. What makes people realize they are experiencing an earthquake? They have to realize what is happening and when not to panic. 8. What are the third types of waves that people experience? It could be that the spaces lead to longitudinal waves of usually particle directions. 9. 
how much of the seismic energy is released in the first 10 seconds. Typically at periods of between 0.1 and 100 seconds. 10. How are softer sediments affected by the seismic waves? They travel faster through hard rocks than through softer rocks. 11. What claims most of the lives? It causes a lot smooth of the earthquake. 12. What two factors make people vulnerable to earthquakes? It literally processes which increase the susceptibility of an individual. <laughs> Just one second before I get all the get all the uh, food out of my teeth. Yeah, teeth is like really important because you don't want to lose any teeth in the future. <clears throat> I know that sounds hard, but I mean, you are going to lose your teeth someday if you don't brush your teeth. I mean, you're going to have to get it pulled out. So you have to keep your tooth safe. So that's a, pardon me. So that's what you should do around your life. Um, I know that most people are smoking, which is not going to affect your, which is not going to keep your teeth uh, clean. It's not going to work on that. So I would encourage people not to smoke. I know that people smoke. Even though they have teeth in, smoking is bad for your teeth, so why do you always... So why are you smoking? Why are people smoking? They still smoke. It's not It's not good for them, bro. I mean, what is wrong with them? Yeah, people never change. It's, life is a disaster. I mean, I understand if you, I, I understand if you smoke. I mean, I, I just rather stay out of it because... I mean, I just rather stay out of it because I'm not into smoking. Because I don't do smoking. I just don't. Because it's not, it's not even good for my teeth. I mean, what's the point of that? It's not good for anyone's teeth. Why are people still doing it? That is so dumb. Okay. <laughs> okay, so... There are some X's that that I was not being corrected in. The only the only thing he marked was seven and one. I cannot even I cannot even click on this. This is exploration questions about faults and earthquakes. So, um. <laughs> So there's a there's a big X on here, so I'll just ignore that. So X how earthquakes related to plate tectonic activity. Supported by a wide range of evidence and upper mantle to be composed of several large, thin, relatively rigid plates. Two. What is an earthquake? An earthquake is the result of a sudden release of stored energy in the Earth's crust that creates seismic waves. Three. What is the difference between a focus and an epicenter? Draw a picture or write a short explanation. The focus is the actual point of the rock breakage or movement. 4. What is the elastic rebound hypothesis? Either draw captioned pictures, write a brief explanation, or create a brief outline. It is where most earthquakes are produced by a rapid release of energy stored in rock. 5. Described with an outline or a series of pictures, what a foreshock is and what an aftershock is, and the sequence in which they occur with an earthquake. A mild tremor preceding the violent shaking movement of an earthquake. 6. What are two ways in which deformation affects rock? Shape or bend. 7. X describes seismic waves. Include explanations of P and S waves. Describe the difference between the two with pictures or a table comparing the two. Body and surface layers. 8. How are seismic waves detected by scientists? What do the waves tell them? They collapse with the layer on detecting waves that surround the surrender layers. 9. What is a fault? A fault is a typical fracture or zone of fractures between two blocks of rock. 10. What are the three major types of faults? Draw pictures or write brief explanations for each. Strike slip. Normal and thrust suggestion of the force.
<clears throat> sorry, my, sorry, my fruit is kind of kind of red. I don't know why. I'm not. I'm not sick. I mean, I know it sound. I know it that I don't sound sick. I mean, I don't know why I sound sick, but it's okay. I will. Uh, I don't know. I guess I'll do the. I guess I'll do the the Great Migration. This is a, this is a podcast note taking sheet. So, all right. This is t- this is about TED Talks Daily Audio: The Great Migration and the Power of a Single Decision. Background knowledge. Before listening to the pod, I can't. I can't fucking speak. Before listening to the podcast, write anything you already know about this topic. I knew of the topics because. Um, why am I saying because? I knew about. I knew about the topic of how it's going to be proceeding, and recognizing the fact about this decision. I knew something happened around in November. November of twenty seven, twenty seventeen. And the topic can be used from it. Main points of uh, further co- podcast. Record record a key coin. What am I saying? I can't fucking speak. This is why I don't prefer to speak because um, sometimes that's, I mess up words. I just rather have a woman speak for me. I mean, I cannot. I know that I cannot speak to. I'm speaking so fast. Blah, 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 blah. All right. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Um. All right. Record. Keep. 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 keep record uh, key points and details you learned for this podcast. American was launched. Decades leading up towards action. Suffering migration for Europe. African American are safe in the South. O- old vocab. Write down any vocab terms previous chapter that you recognize. Black people found the entire foundation of southern civilization preceding the activation on, on units. Um, new new vocab. Uh, write down any new vo- new vocab terms that you heard of this per- podcast that you didn't know. Just like the old vocab that you have to write down any vocab terms previous chapter that you recognize that you remember. So the new vocab. Here's something that you never heard before. So this is the podcast that you did not know. I did not. I didn't know that the black people could raise their hands to to, to control racism when a bro, when a black person started that expression. Questions you have, write down any questions you still have have about this topic or any areas that really interest you after listening to the podcast. And I wrote, I do not have any questions. All right, so if you guys have any questions for this topic, let me know. And if some of you guys don't have questions, that's okay, um, because because I'll be saving the other part from because I'll be doing the next assignment, which is like Sacco and Benzetti. I'll be saving it for part for the part one hundred and six. So stay tuned on that. I'll be clicking on this assignment. I'm not, I'm not going to read it for you right now. So this is uh so this was made by U.S. History. Um, like I said, this all this blah 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 all this. So, all right. Like I said, if you have questions, let me know, and I'll be available to help you right right away if you need help. So, um. So the, if you guys have any questions, if you guys want to come out, if you guys want to come in, if you guys want to, no, not come in, but if you guys want to come meet me around, uh, which is I'll tell you privately, you can come, you can you can visit my house and you can visit outside of my house and say happy birthday to me. I, w- I would really appreciate it a lot. If you guys want to say happy birthday to me, that's totally fine. I would totally appreciate that because I'm getting more gifts than I ever received, like squishmallows and stuff like that. I'll be telling you the stuff that I did. So this will be on video. This will be on. So this will be on. Um, okay, so this will be on uh, my face video. I'll be showing my face in that one tomorrow. So I cannot wait to become a young adult tomorrow. I cannot wait. So um, 
I'm probably going to be doing some different things in life. Um, so I'll, pro I'll probably be doing, I'll probably doing, probably, probably be getting a cake around at Dairy Queen. I'm not sure what kind of cake event I wanted, but I'll be available to know what cake is actually, um, uh, cake is that the actual that I wanted. So, all right, stay tuned for the part 106.